recruited to collect information on the country's nuclear and military sites. Now, officials claim some of those arrested have already been sentenced to death. This comes as Britain convenes an emergency meeting over Iran's seizure of a British flag oil tanker in the Strait of Hormuz. Iran accused the tanker's crew of various legal infractions, and the incidents come amid an escalating showdown between Iran and the West as the landmark 2015 nuclear deal continues to unravel. Imtiaz Tayyab is in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, Imtiaz, what's Iran saying this morning? Good morning, guys. Yeah, that dramatic news coming from Iran's intelligence ministry saying that they've arrested 17 suspects who they say, and I quote here, that they confess to acting as spies for the CIA. Now, Iran has made claims like this before in the past, and they're impossible to verify at this stage. But these claims follow dramatic turn of events here in the Gulf in which a British flag tanker was seized by Iranian commandos and is currently in Iranian custody, really ratcheting up tensions here. This video, released by Iran's Revolutionary Guard, apparently shows in real time the British flag Stena Impero oil tanker forced into Iranian territorial waters. Radio recordings also captured the moment a British warship warned the Iranians not to interfere with the vessel. If you obey, you will be, be safe. After you cross to uh, 360 degrees immediately, over. At the Navy Patrol Boat, this is British warship Foxtrot 236. Please confirm that you are not intending to violate international law by unlawfully attempting to board the MV Senate. But minutes later, Iranian commandos took control of the vessel, apprehending the international crew and replacing the Union Jack with the flag of Iran. This morning, Prime Minister Theresa May is considering retaliation, including freezing Iranian assets. The seizure of the Stena Impero comes just two weeks after the UK's Royal Marines helped seize an Iranian tanker off the coast of Gibraltar. It's believed the vessel was carrying oil to Syria in breach of EU sanctions. Iran's foreign minister had this to say about the seizure and economic sanctions from the West. This is economic terrorism, pure and simple. We need to repeat it again and again. Now, the U.S. is trying to pull together a sort of maritime coalition to protect the ships that travel through this region, a lot of ships traveling through this region. But they've been struggling to get help, particularly from the Europeans, who we understand are angry that President Trump withdrew from that Obama-era nuclear deal, a deal they say was crucial to preventing things like this from happening and is really behind the spiraling tensions here in the Gulf.